welcome back to my channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how to install flutter on windows 11 by following its official documentation so let's get started at first open your favorite web browser and browse this url flutter.dev now click on get started button then click on setup flutter okay now choose your development platform to get started i am going to install flutter on windows so click on the windows operating system and then choose your first type of application android is recommended i am going to select this okay start building flutter android application on windows verify system requirements this is the minimum hardware requirements and this is the recommended requirements okay and also the software requirements flutter supports 64 bit version of microsoft windows 10 or later and these versions of windows should include the required windows powershell 5 or later and development tools download and install the windows version of the following packages git for windows and android studio and this is the minimum requirements version or later to debug and compile java or kotlin code for android okay i already have installed android studio on my machine okay and i am going to install git for windows operating system click here and download git for windows operating system now open the installer if you get a message from user account control prompt do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device select yes Now click on next, next, next. It may take a while for installing Git on your system. okay if you want to launch git bash right now check this box and then click on finish otherwise uncheck okay now configure a text editor or ide using an ide with a flutter extension or plugin provides code completion syntax highlighting with editing, assistance, debugging, and other features. Popular options include this, okay. But I am going to install Flutter SDK. At first, download Flutter SDK. Click here. And download the following installation bundle to get the latest stable release of the Flutter SDK. click here to download it may take a while for downloading the zip archive file create a folder where you can install flutter you can create a folder anywhere on your computer but i am going to create the folder into the c drive 
navigate to the local disk C and here I am going to create a folder and name it div okay after a successful download of flutter sdk zip archive file navigate to the download folder and extract to the div folder okay now click on extract It may take a while you can create this folder by any name okay now update your windows path environment variable so navigate to the flutter directory and then bin subdirectory now copy this path now search for edit the system environment variable click on environment variables now go to the system variable section select path and then click on edit click on new now paste the path here and then click on ok click on ok ok now verify the installation open command prompt and simply type plotter hit enter that's it plotter installed successfully on Windows operating system. You can verify the version of Flutter installed on your system using this command. That's it. Now configure Android development. Configure the Android tool chain in Android Studio. To create Android application with Flutter, verify that the following Android components have been installed on your computer. If you are first time using Android Studio, select the first tab and follow this instruction or if you are current Android Studio user, select the second tab and follow the instruction. Okay. I am going to select the first option. At first launch Android Studio. The welcome to Android Studio dialog displays. Click on next. Now follow the Android Studio setup wizard. Select the type of setup you want for Android Studio. Now install the following components. The components will be installed into the SDK folder on this location. Okay. Now read and agree to the license for the components which will be installed. Select and then accept. Now select and accept. Now click on finish. It may take a while for downloading the components and installing. So be patient.
to configure your flutter app to run on a physical android device you need an android device running android api level 21 or later enable developer options and usb debugging on your device as described in the android documentation on your device find the build number options you will find it into your settings tap the build number option seven times until you see the message you are now a developer this enables developer options on your device return to the previous screen to find developer options at the bottom at the top of the developer options screen you can toggle the options on or off as shown in the figure one this is the toggle button now enable usb debugging on your device now enable usb debugging in the device system settings under developer options you scroll down and you will find usb debugging option or to leverage wireless debugging enable wireless debugging on your device as described in the android documentation follow this instruction now install the google usb driver click here to download the google usb driver zip archive you can install it from android studio open android studio get in the sdk manager click on the sdk tools now select google usb driver now click on apply okay it may take a while click on finish here you will see the status installed that means google usb driver installed successfully click on ok now plug your device into your windows computer if your device prompts you authorize your computer to access your device verify that flutter recognizes your connected android device using this command in the powershell or command prompt write this command by default flutter uses the version of the android sdk where your adp tool is best to use different android sdk installation path with flutter set the android sdk root environment variable to that installation directory agree to android license before you can use flutter and after you install all prerequisites agree to the license of the android sdk platform open a elevated console window that means command prompt then write this command hit enter if you get this error you can fix this error so go back to the android studio then 
open SDK manager click on SDK tools and check this box Android SDK command line tools install this package it may take a while for installing okay now rewrite this command and hit enter type y then hit enter type y hit enter okay all sdk package license accepted now check your development setup run flutter doctor command to verify your installation of all the components okay troubleshoot flutter doctor issues using this command now start developing android on windows apps with flutter i am going to create a test application at first choose your ide i am going to create flutter application on android studio create a sample flutter application launch id to be able to create flutter project on android studio you will need to install the flutter plugin and for smart dart coding assistance that includes code completion formatting navigation intentions refactorings and more install the dart plugin search for flutter install this plugin and also search for dart Now restart the ID. Head back to your ID start page and click new Flutter project at the top of the welcome to Android Studio dialog. That's it. Click on the button new Flutter project under generators. Click flutter and select the flutter is dk path browse the flutter is dk path click on next now enter the project name Now choose the project location and also select the project type and organization. Okay. Now select the Android language and select the platforms select all of the platforms now click on create now i am going to run this simple application at first locate the main android studio toolbar at the top of the android studio edit window this window 
in the target selector select an android device for running the application you created your android target device in the install section this is the target selector select the device to run your application make one of the following choices click the run icon in the toolbar or go to run and then click on run or press ctrl plus r to run the application press ctrl plus r at the same time click on the run button the application run successfully on web browser stop now i am going to run this application on a real hardware device to connect to your device with real hardware device to connect to your device using wi-fi open android studio and select pair devices using wi-fi option from the run configuration menu go to the running devices tab click on the plus sign and select pair devices using wi-fi okay to pair devices over wi-fi dialog appears look like this and then enable developer options on your device and enable debugging over Wi-Fi on your device tap wireless debugging and pair your device to pair your device with a QR code select pair device with QR code or to pair your device with a pairing code select pair device with pairing code from the pair new devices of our Wi-Fi dialog a six digit code appears once your device appears on the pair devices of our Wi-Fi window enter the six digit code click on pair then click on done okay now close in the target selector select the real hardware device and then click on the run button to run the application on your real hardware device it may take a while now see your real device flutter application runs successfully on your physical device if you like this video like comment and share thank you so much for watching this tutorial